So today's a pretty big day. It's race day guys. Sunday the 25th of June. The day I've been dreading. Today is going to be my first ever ultra marathon. Got Matt with me. We're driving. I'm actually so anxious and I just don't feel like I could stomach any food this morning. I managed to get a slice and a half of toast down me. I've also made myself an extra towel wind just to make sure I'm fueled well and hydrated well. If you've been before, hello you, come on in, get your trainers on. This is going to be a big one today. I'm going to need you guys. <laughs> and if you are new to my channel, hello, come on in, get your trainers on. Quick introduction to my channel. My name is Lucy. I have been on a running and weight loss journey since February 2020. I started my journey weighing 230 pounds, unable to run more than 30 seconds at a time. I looked all over the internet to try and find someone who had been in a position I had been in and got themselves running marathons. But unfortunately, I just couldn't find that person I could relate to. Someone who had been in my shoes, knew the struggle and still got to the other side. Well, I've run a lot of miles and I've lost a lot of weight. So I've decided to become that YouTuber that I needed to see way back then. This is the kind of thing you think you need. Hit the subscribe button, come along, become a virtual running buddy. You've joined us here on quite a big one today. We are gonna be running 50 kilometers and we are currently on the way to the finish line, which is where we're gonna register, uh, get all of our kit checked and then we're gonna catch a coach over to the start line and then wait for the start. <laughs> we're all registered, we've got a number, a number 49. off the coach you're at the start line now how long have we got 10 minutes i'm feeling all right actually how are you feeling <laughs> he's all right <laughs> okay three two one go Just over a mile done. It's really hot, but I'm glad I've got this. Look at this scenery. Very different to my training, that's for sure. We're going downhill at the moment. It is warm, guys. It is warm. Not even hit two miles yet, and I'm having to walk. My calves are really cramping up. It's making my feet feel tingly. I'm not going to stop completely. If I need to walk, I'm just gonna walk. And once my cars feel a bit better, then I'll get back going. I think maybe I set off a bit too quick there in that first mile and the heat, just the heat. This is the hottest weather I've run in all year throughout all of my training and it's only gonna get hot.
That is now a 10k. 10k? Oh, what I wish. It's a 5k done. I've just got to do get 10 more of those. It's actually been one of the worst starts to a run I've ever had. I'm so it's the heat guys. If you saw my last video, you know I was really worried about the heat and I was right to be. Can you see in the distance over there? They are the people ahead of me. Nobody behind me. That means I am officially in last place. And yet, that does not put me off. I'm still doing amazing things. So don't let being in last place put you off doing an event. I'm actually extremely comfortable being at the back <laughs> where nobody can see me. I just had a meltdown and I didn't get it on camera. I'm so sorry, guys. But I'm now running. <laughs> I'm nearly as red as my jacket. Do you have not oh, I've got my hat. I've only, I've only got a marathon left now. I've only got a marathon left? Yeah, so you, you've, you've done the ultra bit already. Oh, there looks like there's a bit more shade down there. I feel like I'm running as fast as I can and it's getting further away. <laughs> there it is, shade. people go the wrong way up, up, up ahead so now we know where to go as long as we don't go the wrong way we'll have to take them i don't think i'm gonna be able to take anyone but positive mindset matt well, I, I know where we're going so we're all right oh that's about it did i tell you it was really hot can't tell but I'm being sprayed <laughs> oh it's nice that's nice <laughs> okay that's 10k done 6.2 miles in one hour 22 minutes honestly I probably should have gone slower and I'm, I'm quite shocked that I actually managed to do it in that time because I don't feel like I'm barely moving but the heat is killer guys but I feel like I've got into a bit of a swing of things now as per usual the first two miles slash 20 minutes was hell probably the worst two miles I've ever ran <laughs> which worried me a little bit but I'm getting into the swing of things now one foot in front of the other I want to get to the checkpoint, which is roughly 10 miles. So it's still quite a way. I'm actually running out of liquid because I've just been drinking and drinking, but Matt's saving me one of his bottles, so I've got extra. sausage roll people <laughs> i'm getting matt to take it out so we don't stop we just keep moving right i just got to put my med kit back now Whew. right i have my sausage roll just one i won't be greedy and i'm gonna nick matt's bottle because i've run out of liquid guys it's so hot i just needed i just feel like i really need to drink all the time because i'm working harder than matt he's giving me one of his cheers
tired now. I was feeling good, but I think I've hit a wall. <sighs> Trying to talk. <laughs> you cleaned us all out of water. We've got no more water now. Drank I've drank it all, but the first checkpoint is about a mile away. So if I just take it easy for a mile, drink all of the liquid they have at the checkpoint, and then checkpoint number two isn't gonna be as far as this one. This is the furthest one. So fingers crossed, I don't run out again, but it is getting hotter and hotter. We're approaching the hottest point of the day. We're hitting 30 degrees centigrade. I don't know what that is Fahrenheit. If anybody wants to work that out and drop that in the comments for me, <laughs> that would be helpful. Oh, there's a breeze and it's flat. Let's get to this checkpoint. I can't outrun a ball, no Matt. I've just realised I'm also wearing red. <laughs> Sucks to be you. It does. Well, we've just gone through the town where the checkpoint is, but we just can't find the checkpoint. We're at 11.3 miles and I, I need this checkpoint so bad. I think I see it. There it is. Oh, we see it. I'm gonna fill up. Oh, amazing. Oh, you can have that. I'll let you have that. <laughs> oh. yeah. Got a glass of water or a cup of water. I've had some sweets. We're off to the next one. Apparently, the next checkpoint is about eight miles. So, let's try and make my liquids last a bit longer oh this heat is just driving me crazy I'm walking a lot but i've got <laughs> you just got to look after yourself to be honest that's what they said at the checkpoint as well you don't have to run the whole thing you've got to make sure you you're doing this in the right way i don't want to make myself ill i'm going to take some tablets just in case i start getting a headache soon because i can see, feel the signs so i'll do that now and then i will plod along some more <laughs> I don't get this on my normal everyday runs. Wow. Oh, bless them. Oh, let's take a horn. Oh, bless them. I wonder if they uh, would let us ride them for a couple miles. I think you could do riding a horse. <laughs> Lost, actually the arrow told us to go down there but it's like someone's driveway that's gone down there to see if we go down there yeah he's gone down there but it's not telling us to go this way oh this is not what I need right now oh I think he's talking to someone is that way? oh it is that way <laughs> it's just spoke to someone and they said it is that way, so here we go. Yeah, we looks like we're walking down someone's drive. And down there. And there's a the sign. Here we go. A little bit of shade. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm not, we're not even at half a marathon yet. But we nearly are. We stopped at that checkpoint for quite a while. Apparently there is people behind us. We wasn't at the back when I thought we was, but still. <sighs> okay guys, I thought I'd give you a little update. I've no idea what clip I got <laughs> last time. Okay. What am I dealing with right now? The heat, number one, is the worst thing. I've just had to succumb to it. 
um my goal was to get like i don't know i was i, I wanted like an eight hour time but honestly i don't know if that's doable in this heat secondly um i just feel like sluggish i'm taking on a lot of fluid because i'm so thirsty because it's so hot so i feel really bloated <laughs> not making things any easier my legs feel okay when we go on the inclines my quads they are sore i have been applying sun cream repeatedly just in case you were worried i did feel on this side of my arm in particular that it was feeling a little bit sore so i'll be putting loads on there to make sure i don't get burnt because that would be annoying still got quite a way until the next check void so i have some water left some tailwind left I'm just sip, sip, sip. I just, just feel so thirsty all the time. My saving grace has been this hat. I think if I didn't have the shade in front of my face, I would have, I would have a banging headache right now. So that is my update. Nearly halfway there. I can't believe I've got to do this all over again. <laughs> this is hard. So hard. Matt asked me, are you going to get into 100 milers? Nope. <laughs> nope. Absolutely not. Give me 70 more miles after you finish this. I can't, I can't even fathom what that would be like. <laughs> insane, insane. But I can't argue with the views. They have been absolutely lush. Right, this is a downhill, so. Oh. What? I, I, I know this bit. You know this bit? Yeah. I ran up here. Did I'm you? Like, yeah, I'm 100 miles. Ah. Oh, I'm thankful we're running down here. <laughs> Those trees, but don't know. That's where the like, next deep net will go. Oh, right. Plodding, plodding along. <sighs> We're getting a drink from Tesco. Oh, it's gonna stay in the fridges for a while. What do you I mean, that is pretty big. I mean, any bottle at this point, Matt. Well, we'll just get that. Yeah. I just like can't. Sl I'm not too mad about that. You waited until I got my camera out, didn't you? Make it safe Yeah, we're quite far in, over halfway now. And it is very, very difficult to run at this point. So I've had a chat with Matt and we were saying, I really hope you can hear me because it's quite windy now. I was saying to Matt, this is probably the worst day to do this race because I'm not necessarily in pain or hurting like I would be on my previous marathons. I'm just so hot and so tired. It's really hard because I'm drinking so much. I feel like I've got a belly full of water, which makes it really hard to run. The heat is hard. Every single incline I get to, my back is hurting. So as long as I get this finished and get this done, maybe I'll try again in the winter. <laughs> I would love to see the next checkpoint, but we didn't really research it very well. We've got two more miles. So, miles. So we're not too sure. They'll just appear out of nowhere. They, they didn't put mile markers out for the checkpoints are going to be anyway. No. They just put location names. They just put a town name. Yeah. So we'll find it. She said it was under a tree. <laughs>
for some more gummy bears. Is that what they're called? Gummy bears? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've had a nice long session of walking. I just have got rid of these. I'm gonna try and do a little bit more walk. Uh, a little bit more running. See how I feel. The temperature. I can't stress this enough. And this is so hot. It's making it so hard to run. But I've refill, refilled, I've got fresh sun, fresh sun cream on. Here we go. Let's get this done. 10K to the next checkpoint. And then from there, we are done. Quite surprised how high spirits I am. It might be because I've just had sweets. <laughs> but I'm doing okay. It's just the heat. It's not even been that long, like, since I spoke to you guys. It's just so hot. I'm like over 20 miles. It's just so hot. Like, I just... It's really frustrating. But I've not really got that much left to do. But these conditions are... thing I've really got left is I will not quit I will not DNR DNR DNF I'm so tired do not resuscitate do not resuscitate well, if you drop out now it's all been for nothing well that's it if I drop out now it's all for nothing and I can't do that I need to motivate you guys to be fair we are five hours and 40 minutes into this run and it doesn't feel like it it only really feels like we've been at like two hours oh, so it does it feel longer for you yeah. well i suppose it would do wouldn't it because you're used to going a lot quicker <laughs> one foot in front of the other focus This is the worst thing I've ever done. And I'm not enjoying this. It was worth it when you finish. This is horrible. I can't get my breath back when I run now, which is fun. I just want it to be over now. This is the worst thing I've ever done. Ever, ever, ever. I'm just switched off now. I just, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm being honest and real here. This is the worst thing I've ever done. It's too hot. So... I'm not too sure I've got any more running left in me. I just tried running a bit there and I'm going to be sick. The whole vibe of this video has just gone completely sour. It's not, this is not enjoyable. I still feel like I have a ridiculous amount left to go. I haven't even done a marathon yet. 
I just need to get my head down and get one foot in front of the other. That's all we can do. <sighs> my feet are really starting to hurt now and my hips are starting to hurt, which is kind of normal for me at this stage of a marathon, but it's just <laughs> adding to the list of why I'm struggling today. six and a half hours in and Matt has decided just now to put sun cream on. It's my leg. <laughs> I on the other hand have been applying it a lot. <laughs> walking around aimlessly at 25.1 miles we are totally off the route this is not good it makes it so much longer my feet are killing me we're lost it looks like a field with a horse in so we're not convinced this is the right way Oh Matt, he's trying to work it out. I'm pretty sure we've gone wrong a bit further down. <sighs> there he is. Looking confused. <laughs> and there's the horse. <laughs> I'm definitely not getting my eight hour time that I wanted. At least I get a little bit of a rest, a bit of a break. Although I might seize up. Oh, it's calling me over. <laughs> GPX file is showing us that that was the right field that we were supposed to go through. Just confusing because there was horses there. Normally Matt said that um, they don't send you through fields with horses and if they do then they the horses generally aren't in the field <laughs> on the on the day of the race. We're back on track. Here we go. Yes. That is the last checkpoint done. Every, every now and then I go through like phases of I don't think I'm going to be able to run anymore and then I manage to plod a little bit more so I'm just going to stick with if I can run I will run if I need to walk I will walk five more miles guys Whew. a bit more running now I've done over a marathon which means i'm officially in the unknown this is the furthest i've ever gone every step is now a pb what a great way to look at it eh? <laughs> at this point this is there's not going to be the core <laughs> at this point the quality of this video is probably going to drop <laughs> I'm just so focused on getting to the end and I can see the end actually. I am still doing some shuffles but at this point I just, I just can't believe I'm here and I can literally see the finish. I mean, it, it looks quite far but I can see it. My feet are killing me. I haven't been able to shuffle in like half a mile to stand solid walking. I don't know if I've got any more running left in me. Maybe I've got a little bit left for the finish line. My feet are hurting so bad. I'll let you know when I've finished how many steps I took and how many calories I burnt. <laughs> I'm quite curious to know. Okay, so it's all flat tarmac on the way now. Matt says it's two miles. Can I shuffle for two miles? We'll see.
30 miles. We're by the seaside. And um, I'm just gonna walk the whole way now. I just can't go on anymore. I'm really starting to feel drained. I can't even hold my phone up. <laughs> Stuff, guys, this is tough. Yeah, it's putting in the long way, but I did the same when I got there. I needed this. See, it's fairly right. Yeah. Yeah. Just save this. When you're a bit messed up, it's really hard. Thank you. Back in the building. Look how dirty my legs got. I don't think I've ever been so sweaty in my life. Just putting my shoes on them was a whole ordeal. That was really difficult. I'm so tired. Guys, I am officially an ultra runner. Wow. I just said to Matt, how, how have you ran an extra 70 miles on top of what we've just done? I can't, I even, I just, I've got even more respect for that. I was a little worried I was going to have like a line where my hat was, but I think I got away with it. <sighs> we did it! We did it! Okay, so let's just work out what I did. So, calories. I have burned in total since I got up this morning 4,848 calories in the last 12 hours. <laughs> and steps, I've taken 67,249 steps. I've done it. I've done it. Oh, guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'm hoping that this video is going to inspire so many other people out there to <laughs> to just give it a go thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy i mean i worked really hard <laughs> it was very hot i will see you guys soon for some more updates bye guys